Hello guys, welcome at the second part of my Napoleon collection. I still have a lot to show you. Just a little quick overlook. As you can see, a lot of Napoleon stuff. So just let's begin quickly. So uh, this is the merchandise and after this I will go to the figures. So first of all I have got this stamp set. And I just keep it like this because it's really nice of course. Then I've got this um, folder to hold uh, things and in there there is one more Napoleon item as well. Another stamp set. This one. Very nice I, I think. And on the back there is uh, some explainings there. You can see. Just pause and read if you want. So that is in there. Then I've got... I need to put it aside somewhere. <laughs> uh, then I've got this... Um, I don't know how you call this at the moment, but another kind of folder where you can put stuff in. And this one. And I believe there is nothing in it anymore. Like Napoleon like. No, and it's all things memorabilia of Paris. And on the back Look, there is this. So, there you go. Okay, then onto my phone. This is uh, my phone is in it, <laughs> as you can see it. But this is my phone case, and I do have another one as well, like this one. I used this one before. Um, but then I got this one and now I use this one um basically. I've got this <laughs> and let's fold it out for a moment but this is um, uh, what you can use to cook with look <laughs> and then you kind of look like Napoleon <laughs> I think it's very funny and let me remind you uh, of course I didn't buy all, all myself I also got some gifts from people and stuff so and I uh, do find some things in the second-hand store, so nice. <laughs> this is a can, as you can see, with Napoleon on it. But not only Napoleon, I bought it for Napoleon because he was on it. But also this guy, no clue who this, <laughs> and Louis. Uh. But of course I bought it because Napoleon is on it, and twice. Ha! I've got um, this for your glasses, only my glasses are not capable to go in it because it, it's too small. Oh, I can open it. <laughs> um, I've got, oh sorry, I've got this coin out of the, how do you call it, this is all other coins I believe, not Oh, this has to, something to do with Napoleon. It's his tomb. And this is just coins out of Paris, Notre Dame, and yeah, nothing. And of course, this glass clean cleaner. Tada! Lovely, but of course, I do not use this because it's too pretty. It's too pretty. I do have more, uh, three more of the, I, it's called microfibers, so uh, this is exactly the same actually, so I could use the other if I wanted. Uh, I've got this one with the N and the eagle, and I've got this one with N's and B's and crowns, so there you go. I've got this one, these are stickers. Very nice, and I will not use these, of course. I will just keep them like it is. I've got this is actually Napoleon the Third, and I just came across it, and it, I think it was nice to have in the collection. It's not Napoleon the First. I actually do not collect Napoleon the Third so much, actually not. But but I came across this, and it was not so um, expensive. And these are coins from eighty eighty. Oh, what is it? 80, oh, 62. So coins with Napoleon III on it. I, I cannot read it, but 
There you go, it's a kind of overview. It's very hard to see but because they are very dark and not in the amazingly shape. But I thought it was very nice. And I do have five more of these. These are a little bit better to see, I guess. Uh, <laughs> 8056. 8061. It's very nice to have such old coins. <laughs> 8063. It's getting darker. And I the sixty fifty six I believe so. There you go. <laughs> I've got these. I've got this necklace with Napoleon on it. If it will focus. There you go, kind of. And on the back is the uh, laurel laurel wreath. I believe it's called. In this little container, there are two things. Well, actually one. But <laughs> I've got this one. This watch. You can open it like this. Very nice. It's the battery is empty, but and Napoleon is on it as well. I've got this um, thing compartment for uh, your glasses. Same story, uh, my glasses are too big for this to, to fit in. Ta-da! <laughs> I've got this card, and it doesn't fit in here, but... I've got this can, and in there are my Napoleon cards. So I will have a quick look through them. The cards, and they are uh, mostly really old, like this one. I hope you can see it. Wait, hold on a second. There you go. So, I hope this is clear. Uh, Le Cabinet de Napoleon. And I'm not sure if there are years on here, but no. But it is a very old card, as you can see. I've got this one, and with writing on it, which is very nice as well, I think. It's very, it's something more special. And look. 9002, can you believe that? It's such an old card. This is very nice and there is actually, I will not show that too much because it's an address, but although it's very old. I've got this really awesome one. And nothing on the back. I've got this one and there is writings on it as well. And maybe there is even a year. No, there's nothing on the back. I've got this one, and I have them all in plastic sleeves. This is 9002 as well, maybe even the same writer. Can't remember that. And even with a stamp, you know, that's so cool. I really love that. And I really love the picture. Uh, I've got this one from Musée du Louvre. Can you believe how old this card is from the museum? <laughs> I've got this one, one of my favorite pictures. Musée Versailles, it says. Very cool. Don't know about a year. I've got this one. Whoops. <laughs> also Musée Versailles. Musée de Versailles, to be honest. I've got this one from Musée Fesch. You can see on um, from Corsica, of course, <laughs> and with a stamp from Cors, which is really awesome and really cool. So this is from the birth uh, country from Napoleon. <laughs> um, I've got this one. Don't know if there is anything. No, there's nothing on the back. You can still. Uh, sorry for my arm. <laughs> there. I've got this one, and these are all new. These are both in Musée Lame. Got this one, so nothing is on the back. I will not show you the backs. Got the the hat, of course, the famous hat. Would love to have that in real life. That would be a gem. I've got this, this one, that one, that one. And of course, that is the ultimate goal of the Napoleon collectors, a piece of Napoleon himself, like a hair, or uh, an autograph, or something, uh, like a piece of clothing or something. But yeah, it's very hard to get that, of course. 
That is not actually Napoleon. I did it here in here to keep them safe. But this is the Pantheon. <laughs> um, I've got these things, and it's called cigar bands. Uh, I will not take them all out, but this is just the whole set. You get the the idea, I guess. <laughs> Cut that out myself. I've got these stamp sets. These and these ones. Both different. Will not show them all, of course, because that is will take you too much time. <laughs> and as you can see through this one, also a stamp set from Cuba. I've got this card, and this is very cool because this is made out of uh, cork, as you can maybe tell. So very cool, very nice, and very um, fragile, of course, as well. That's, uh, that's very nice. I've got this one, and on the back I've got this one. I've got this one, and these are very old again. And this one. And there is some things on the back, but then I need to put, uh, get all the cards out, so that will take too much time. This is with writing again. As you see, this is 1901. It's even one year earlier than the other cards. I've got this one. Um, this one, and... Oh, that's just the back with writing. I do not see a year as quickly as I can, so sorry. Maybe there isn't even on it. This one. This is actually not Napoleon, but this is um, Louis Roi de Hollande. This is his brother and his uh, the son. I've got this money. <laughs> um, it's just a souvenir from Paris, as you can see. But it's very nice to have in my collection. There you go. And then I've got this one, <laughs> with all stamps, as you can see. This is a stamp set. That is one stamp, and the other eight are is a set as well. So, I really need some kind of book to put them really nicely in or something. So that was in that. Let's continue. <clears throat> so, the next thing is this one. Uh, I've got the... Eau de Cologne from Napoleon, which he used on St. Helene. This is the actual recipe which he used, so the scent he put on a lot. He loved Eau de Cologne and this is amazing to have. I really love it. So I really know, know how Napoleon smelled and he smells very good, I can tell you. <laughs> Trust me on that. I will get that to the side, it's better. I've got these ones, and these are coasters to put your glass on. And actually, these are the two designs, and then so on. The same designs, three from these and three designs from that one. So, very nice, and I use them a lot. <laughs> I've got this little... It's not a painting, actually. That's the special and weird thing about it. It's... um cloth I don't know how you call it it's it's not a painting but it's very nice one of my first Napoleon memorabilia I guess I guess I'm not sure but it's very small as you can see compared to my hand <laughs> very nice I love this one then I've got the Napoleon 2017 calendar from Musée Lame and as you can see there are of uh, pictures inside and then the calendar itself then we go to this one and inside yep full of napoleon <laughs> so let's start i've got this one this is the end from napoleon it's very nicely done it's oh and it's dirty <laughs> Um, so that, I've got a keychain with the eagle on it. Let's put that aside and let's get it like this. That's better. I've got this magnet and it's 3D, as you can maybe tell. It's very cool. I've got this keychain, both sides the same image. 
I've got this Napoleon pin. I've got this bicorn head, or I, I think it's called bicorn head, really, right? Hmm. I'm doubting now. Oh, that's right. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. It says nothing. It's just a pin, I believe. Yes, it's a pin. A label pin. And I've got the same <laughs> same one. I would actually. I bought some one f to use it, but I still haven't done that. <laughs> I've got this keychain. Very lovely. I've got this magnet, as you can see. I've got this really awesome magnet. And this magnet. Then I've got this, and this is a replica of the... Um, one of the medailles which Napoleon carried, so this is really nice. I also tried to find a Napoleon, Napoleon clothes, so I can cosplay as Napoleon. And maybe it sounds weird because I'm a girl, but I don't care. Then I will act like a man. <laughs> um, I've got this little pin. There you go. Uh, whoops, that was this is the back, but and this is the front. This is Napoleon keychain. Hey, another coin. Oh, I did. I have two of these. I didn't know. Okay, well, <laughs> I've got this keychain with the eagle and the N. I've got this keychain, 3D figure. I've got another 3D magnet, but this picture is it. As you can see, the glare is a little uh, annoying to show you, but I hope you can see it. I've got... oh, <laughs> two is this. This magnet and this magnet. I have this card game from the... There you go. Napoleonic Wars, the soldiers, deck of cards with soldiers in it and stuff. It's very nice. Made in France. And I've got this uh, coin, replica coin of five francs out of that time. There's the story. Oh, you can see that. There you go, it's from 8008, the replica. Really nice! So, let's come. That was what is in this thing. <laughs> Clean it up and I'm back. I've got this puzzle with 54 pieces. Very fun to make. I've got this um, photo frame with Napoleon in it. In the style of uh, uh, the French photo frames, the old style French photo frames. I've got this. Um, let's do that out of the way. And this is made on canvas. I um, not made it myself, but I let it made by another uh, company, and it's very nice. And I've got this hanging in my room, of course, of course. <laughs> I found oh, no, I didn't found three more books. I bought three more books. <laughs> I was in the second hand store and I saw them and it was oh there were more but yeah you can't buy anything of oh, everything. You can't buy everything unfortunately but I choose these ones the age of Napoleon and this is in English Um I've got this very old book, just an N on it, and this is, I believe, 47, 1947, yes. This is in Dutch, and I've got this one, Napoleon, uh, Mart yeah, I don't know how to <laughs> translate it uh, quickly, but it's from Michel Franceschini, Franceschi, Franceschi, there you go. <laughs> And this was actually on my wish list, so it's very nice to find this in the second hand store. Very cheap, I love it. So I've got these three books. 
I've got this um, poster and I will not open it because it's very um, that won't be easy with the one hand and stuff to hold it but you got the idea and I will post a, a picture here right now so you can see which picture it is and that will hang in my room eventually when I find a good list then I've got this bad boy <laughs> one of my most lovely figures ever this is the figure from Napoleon Bonaparte I actually the battle version I actually did a review on this figure on my channel here so I will post the link down below and I um, and you will watch can watch that as well so you can sh see it more in detail and stuff but I will sh give you a quick look very quick there you go still in the box I know but um, I can't properly display it yet because I don't have enough room and I really don't want to break it so I'd rather keep them in the box for now and display it later on when I have the place and the uh, the materials for it to keep him standing without falling and stuff so I've got that one of my biggest treasures also I've got some silly things like this the min minion micro play playset I like minions and I love Napoleon so yeah why not a crossover kind of I do have more of that and then I've got this this is something I made myself not what's in it <laughs> um, but this is sour free or acid free I'm not sure how you call it uh, paper or carton and in it it's nothing no <laughs> and in it let's see how you ah uh, it won't work there you go are my most expensive <laughs> and most uh, and the most treasurous pieces because this is a document and I I, I won't even touch it too much be because I don't have any gloves on but this is the most expensive and most special pieces because of this is a document out of that time as you can see written 7 of March 8010 and it's signed by Duc de Feltre that's the minister minister le ministre de la guerre it also says the Ministre, I, mean, I don't know the English word, I think it's the same, but um, from Napoleon, he was very close to Napoleon, so that's amazing. I still don't know what this signature is, I still have to find it out. I asked on a Napoleon fan group or a Napoleon collector's group as well, but they didn't know it as well. But if you have any information about this signature, please let me know. And then I've got another one. Let's see if we can handle this quickly, very carefully. Then I've got this with the actual stamp, which is awesome. As you can see, 27. Uh, what was the year of this? Oh, I think it's 8027. No. It says look okay well I don't know the year anymore but I have got it uh, somewhere the information this is a letter and look at that handwriting actually I can't do this without gloves but okay for you only for you look at that so awesome and it's signed by and uh, not not the don't don't get too excited but Berthier, it's not the Alexander Berthier, uh, the the most famous one, kind of, but it's a uh, Berthier, and he was colonel, I believe, from the um, artillery. So, um, and this is kind of an order. If, um, I all have it on the computer. Wha what it's it all about, but I believe it was an order for um, some things from for horses and stuff so but these are very awesome and these are my masterpieces in the collection of course because it's really out of that time 
Um, and that's why I made this thing because if you do it in paper then over time it's getting bad. <laughs> well, this is a two-piecer as well, but yeah. <laughs> but 8010, can you believe that? This is such an old document. I love it so much and I will never ever leave. Um, throw this away or sell this or anything. Nope. Never. <laughs> so now um, in here there uh, is a space left so who, <laughs> where is the autograph from Napoleon himself? <laughs> that would be awesome. And then it's time to go to my figures and you can see them all on display. I will not get them out. That is so much work to do. <laughs> And you can see my display this way as well, but I will go um, through them one by one. There is an echo in here, I guess. <laughs> so, on this corner, as you can see, I can lift it a bit. I've got this cognac bottle. Very cool, very nice. And it is from porcelain, so you need to be very careful what I'm going to do. <laughs> Then there is that figure. I hope it will focus. Ah, it will focus. Yay! Then I've got that figure next to it from Papo, I believe. And two little. It's more soldiers. Napoleon soldiers on that side. From. Uh, and that's iron. And under there, where they're on standing on. Is this tin can very old? I believe it was 9030 or 20, something like that. So next to that is this very huge one, and one of the most famous images, statue images. I really love this one. Then before that, we have yes, another Eau de Cologne. Because I was planning to sometimes, very rarely, use the other one and keep this just like it is. Um, then we've got that one there, the um, younger Napoleon statue bust, actually. We've got that go golden bell, well it's not really gold of course, but <laughs> with Napoleon on top. And then next to it is this really big statue from Napoleon on his horse. Really nice. Next to that is this one. That's also Papo the horse and Napoleon. Napoleon can come off. Very nice. Before the, uh, in front of that is this gold bronze bust statue again. Bust. The end there. I've got this cannon. Just added it because a cannon fits with Napoleon, of course. Then that is also a Papo figure. And then I've got three other figures. This is Becher. Um, that is Moura and Michel Ney. Marshal Ney. And in front of that is a cannon again, but this is a real Napoleon cannon. I will get that for a second because I turn it around. <laughs> Look, there it says. And I all already had this as a kit, but I, of course, I didn't really know who Napoleon was. I wasn't busy with that at the time. I just keep, kept the cannon because it was nice. And later on, I was thinking, oh wait, isn't that? And I searched, and yes, it was a Napoleon cannon, so I was, wow! <laughs> Actually, that was my first collector's piece, <laughs> without knowing. This white bust. Back there, we have this figure, and this is from uh, Edition Atlas. I've got more, but that's on the attic, and I can't show you that. But I've got more, I've got the, um, the cannon as well, and some soldiers. And these, I believe it's tin figures from uh, Napoleon. Then we got one down, so this is the total few. Let's see if I can show you. So this is the total few of that one. And then we go one lower, and there is more. Yep. <laughs> so on 
there, this is this white bust, and I still need to replace his finger because that broke off when we were traveling. I bought that in Paris. And as you can see, his finger is gone. But I still have the finger and I still need to put it on again. So uh, I've got that quill pen from Napoleon Bonaparte. I've got that <laughs> really strange hand, uh, a finger, a puppet, <laughs> which is just fun to have such things as well. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> um, I've got that Napoleon on the throne. And he's sitting on a bust kind of thing. But that's not on it. That's just a piece loose. Nothing to do with Napoleon. I just put it there to put him on. I've got this one still in the package. The glorious Cavalier de Napoleon. With his horse. I've got the cup. Impossible n'est pas français. Hope I pronounced it right. I've got that. I hope you can see that. Hold on, I need to stand again. <laughs> I've got this old plate. And let me see if I can zoom it a bit so you can see the edge. Come on, zoom. Yes, there you go. Blue and gold. And then this is the image. There you go. <laughs> Very nice. Um, in front of that is, whoops, is this drinking glass. Then I've got this old one. This is also very old. Um, and I still need to clean it. Really I need to do that. As you can see, logo on the back. So very careful. I've got this one. I just f found it very funny to have. So why not? <laughs> Napoleon as a ducky. Sometimes I buy stuff like that as well. If it's not too expensive, just to have for fun. And if it's not too negative, of course. I don't like that. I've got this um, letter opener and this Mandarin Napoleon in my collection. Still full, not drunk. I've got this Napoleon uh, ink that is coming together with the quill pen, actually. I've got this very small figure. <laughs> And it has something on the feet, so it was on something, I don't know what. If you know what, let me know. I've got this bottle opener. And this one from Playmobil. <laughs> yes, even that. I do also collect toys, so nice combi. I've got this eraser from Napoleon. Oh, that's the Arc de Triomphe. That's just there because it's also has to do something with the moment. And I've got, lastly, this figure. Very nice. So this is the overview. Let's see if I can do that again. <laughs> yes. So there you go. Those were all my figures, merchandise. Kind of everything I've got from Napoleon. Of course, like I said, there is something on the attic. I do have one more poster, another one. And I do have more of the uh, Edition Atlas photos. Uh, Edition Atlas figures. But this is kind of most of it. This is all of all of it, kind of. Except of the, these two things. Um, all of my Napoleon stuff. And I really hope I got more. And I... Well, it's always the money, of course. But I would love to have more stuff from that actual, actual time. Like the two manuscripts. <laughs> so I really hope you like this uh, two-part video, maybe even three. I think it's gonna be two. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you've got something from Napoleon and you want it, send it to me. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. Whoops, I forgot a few small things. This ruler, this pencil, these two pens, and this spoon with Napoleon. 
So that is it. Salut!